Hello, wonderful viewers out there. I hope you know what I'm it is. It is a daily trend show on your most authoritative TV station, Info2 TV. This show promises to keep you informed on daily issues. And today we are going to discuss one of the most important issues in our society. And I entreat you to get yourselves prepared with a notebook and a pen because you are going to learn a lot from my wonderful co-hosts who are going to help me discuss these issues. Before I introduce my co-host and the topics that are going to be discussed, shall we put ourselves in the daily trend mood? Welcome back from the break. As I already told you, the daily trend tries to keep you informed, educated, and then get you at least entertained. And I have with me in the studios some beautiful ladies who are going to discuss who are going to help me discuss the issue of social media. Yes, the social media, the advantages, the disadvantages, how it all started and how it is today, and some of the solutions that we can get to some of the problems that we face with the social media trend. Before we start the show, my wonderful co-host, my viewers would like to know you. Okay, my name is Sandra Smith Ansa. And I'm Miss Alexandre Hans. You are once again welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, social media. My viewers have always been wondering why people would always want to go in for smartphones. I need a smartphone. And people don't know why people go in for smartphones. Social media. What are it is? Okay. Social media starts uh, since uh, we are in the world. So we start uh, looking to other people. We start to... Uh, speaking with other people, and then uh, with the evolution of the science, we have uh, the creation of telephone and the radio who give us the tools to more speak with the people who are not here with us. So this is the origin of the social media area. I hope you hear that. Sandra, what do you think? Okay, for me, I think social media is a kind of an online communication created by people to share ideas, share information, share videos, and also get to interact with one another. That's very brilliant. My viewers out there, you know, we can never talk about the social media without talking about the internet. And as you may know, the internet started way back in 1960 by the U.S. Defense Department, where they were using what we call the ARPANET. Yeah, the Appanet, that was an application that they used to communicate the U.S. military. And later on, the U.S. had realized that most institutions and universities kept using it. So they get connected onto the Appanet and then subsequently change the name from Appanet to what? The Internet. So you can't have a social media without the Internet. So I think you can get informed on that. Now, what are some of the social media platforms that we have? Okay, I think some of the social media platforms we have is maybe WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and then the, the rest. I think we need to do a little bit uh, confused. We have the social media and we have the messagery. Yes. So WhatsApp are the messagery, like SMS and also, and we have the social media that are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And every social media have his uh, uh, identity. So Facebook was the most uh, that will be uh, used. One billion person are using Facebook right now. Yeah. But we have another that have uh, the all popping. Like if you are going to LinkedIn, you know that is for professional. If you are going on Twitter, you know that is for branding. And you have every uh, social media we have identity. So it's really important to know that uh, the social media you are using have his own uh, tools. I see. Asandra, you were nodding your head. What, what, what really do you want to say? Okay, I wanted to add up that that is true. When you take social media, it is um, a site where many people can, can come together and like connect. You have um, YouTube and then Instagram, as she said. But some websites and maybe the blogger sites cannot be classified as social media because not everybody gets access to post things on the blogger site. That is individual. He himself maybe a few partners. And the only thing that you can do is just to maybe read 
read and comment but you cannot also come and post something on that site of that um, particular person so that is not classified as a social media when you talk about social media it's a ground where everybody can come together post share ideas like youtube instagram as she said share their whole life yeah exactly. <laughs> i think that is why there is the debate that samuel yeah. moses Telegraph in the 1844s can never yeah. be considered as social media exactly. because it was just a message that you put from where Washington DC to somebody somewhere. So yes, at the beginning, be the, the telegraph was just to put the important information okay. from one uh, position to another one. But now we are seeing everything in social media. Okay. I almost even when I wake up, I'm, the first thing I do is go to Facebook to know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really, really uh, a question. But we, we need to know exactly how to use our social media. Yeah. This is the, the part the important parts of all of it. Yeah, for her, the first thing she does is when she wakes up is to go on social media to find out what is happening and all that. And I hope that is the same thing you also do. But now, the social media, how was it then and now? How can we compare the social media back in those days and social media today? Okay, I think that when we take maybe Facebook, you know that Facebook was created in 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg and some other colleagues of his. And then when it was created, it was only for Harvard students. They were only the um, people who were able to access the Facebook. And then later they made it like a brand for everybody. So um, around 2006, anybody, if you're above 13 years, you could access um, social media. Um, sorry, Facebook. So it was maybe around um, 2011 that Facebook became very like popular, very public for everybody at all to be able to also access it. So I can see that then the number of people who used to patronize um, social media at that time are not um, the same as the number of people who are patronizing it right now. Because um, statistics shows that the number of people who are using social media as a whole is around 2.6 billion people in the whole world. And this number is estimated to go to 3 billion by next year, 2020. Yes, and I am afraid that in the U.S., over 70% of the population use this social media. Exactly. I see. I see. What, what, what do you want to say? You want to... <laughs> this, this was this is crazy, you know, because we have too many people that are using the social media, and uh, they really don't know uh, what to share. Sometimes, of course, we have some people that knows how to do something. Some we have uh, uh, people that are are only use two or three social media uh, due to their business. Yes. But it's not really uh, for the old people. Many people are using social media just because they need to share. They, they are, don't have, let's, let's just have an example. I'm living alone and I, I, I need to keep in touch with the other people. Even if the people is my, uh, my husband, I need to know who, what is he doing today. I need to go to the social media. Did he like the, the picture of this woman? <laughs> that, we have, uh, unfortunately, we have another personality that came with the social media. And this is not the beginning idea, I think. Yeah. No, uh, viewers, as you have heard them, the main idea of social media is to get you people connected. Get you connected, it doesn't make you so addicted. So from my co-host, you are being told that the social media, the purpose for creating Facebook, for instance, was for the students of the Harvard University. Yeah. So it was only used between these people, I think for educational purposes. Exactly. And later on, it developed as something that we are all using right now. And um, to add up, I think that um, these social media platforms are going on and on and on by um, the year and as um, the days go by. Because when you check, maybe Facebook came around 2004, then all of a sudden Twitter came around yeah. 2006, then Instagram came then around 2011, and Snapchat, uh -huh. and see, so it's see, like the moment they see that people are really interested in this thing, then something else comes and up. And they are so making big money exactly, out of that. Exactly. You will not be surprised when another thing comes, a new website or a new social media platform comes up maybe in 2022 and then everybody is all over it. So oh, it, it, evol it evolves. I see, I see. What are some of the things people share on social media? What at all? I'm on social media. I, when someone asks you, hey Sandra, how are you? Please, are you on social media? What at all do they mean? What do they want? I hope they keep asking you that question whether you are on social media. 
What I told you they want to hear from you? Everything. People I want people want to know everything of your life even mm -hmm. the 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 biggest privacy of your life is <laughs> on social media today you can do one fit or you can do anything without posting on social media and this is really really bad yeah, yeah. really bad for human for human psychological and uh, psychological too. Uh, we we have uh, many many people uh on I need to to know we have um, uh, today the addiction for the likes for the, the people who love me we have, every time we post is to 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 know that the the people who are looking what I'm posting need to like and I'm sure that if I'm posting something this guy will like it and I need the influences I need to be uh, it's a star, yeah, and this is why they are the people are looking for too in the social media. Oh, I see. I think the social media has really influenced the society, and the evolution of it is so eminent. We can all see it. Twitter, for instance, back in the days, users were re restricted to only 140 characters. Not until 2017, when the characters were doubled, so you could see that. Back in those days, you could not have more than 140 characters when you are on Twitter. You can't tweet more than using more than 140 uh, characters until. But today, you, you can you can have uh, stories. Yes. You can have yes, many things. So life Twitter are, are going to retweet retweet all the time what, what you are doing. You can tweet many times, and then the story. I, we have many bloggers that are doing that okay. to to tell the a topic of of the blogger, of uh, the, the article, they are doing as well. But uh, the, we need to know that Twitter is really, really, really powerful. Ah, my Twitter viewers, Twitter <laughs> is very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Very powerful. Not, not like you, uh, you think you, one tweet can bring back all your job. Talking mm -hmm. about one tweet breaking down your job, I would want us to talk about some of the advantages, if there are some, and some of the disadvantages, because my lovely viewers will be wondering whether this social media has some advantages or disadvantages. And before we come to talk about these things, shall we go for a short commercial break? Don't go anywhere. Hello, wonderful viewers. You are welcome back from the break. And I hope if you haven't learned anything during the first segment, you have learned the one who brought about how you got Facebook by name Mark Zuckerberg, right? Am, am I right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Now we are going to talk about some of the advantages. This social media, people are just, I don't know, crazy about it. Students are in class, they are holding on to their phones. I don't know. What are some of the advantages that we can derive from this social media? We have many advantages in social media. Social media can help you to uh, to, to share education tips. You, maybe I don't have the answer to one question. I can just ask in, in uh, my Facebook or in my Twitter, and then I get the uh, the advice for the other people. I can have a job opportunity via LinkedIn. Uh, this is a social media tool for professional. I can have a job opportunity via Instagram as a blogger and uh, I can have a partnership with Andermark. So we have many advantages with the social media. Okay, um, I think that social media also helps us since it has become like an integral part of our daily lives. We cannot do without it. It helps us to keep us updated on things that are going on the world. Not everybody maybe may have a television and not everywhere you go, you get opportunity to carry, um, to carry your television along. So when you, you, have, you have your phone, you're on social media, you get to know what is going on in the world, what is happening to this one, the changes that, is, that are like occurring in the world at large. So I think the social media, it keeps us informed okay. and it also boosts our like business life. You can also do business on social media. So as, so as the daily trend keeps our viewers informed, social media always does <laughs> Same. Exactly. I see, I see, I see, I see. And it, what is very uh, interesting in social media is that you can be informed quickly than uh, the other traditional uh, media we have. Okay. In, with social media, you can have uh, a tweet that tell you something that happened in Paris before you are seeing it in TV. And social media is really, really reactive. Oh, my viewers out there, I hope you are also numbering 
the countless benefits of social media and i know you are in agreement with what my co-hosts are sharing but do we have some disadvantages of this social media of course because i think um, anything that has an advantage um, aspect also has a disadvantage aspect and then the social media like as um, she was saying previously it is actually making people go crazy like of late, I hear bloggers even pay people to come. And before you um, continue, you keep mentioning bloggers, bloggers, bloggers. I think my viewers out there would want to know what at all this means. Is this the people that put the news on the social media platforms or, or what? The bloggers, I think they, they are the people who make the news and they put them there, right? Okay, well, the little I know about bloggers is, is that they are actually people that maybe share information. Oh, okay. Like, they bring out information. But okay. many people do not trust them because they think that they actually do these things just to get their own personal interest. Because I heard they get their money from when the person likes it or maybe when the person comments. According so, to the number of likes. Yeah, every day they try to put a very catchy topic okay. on a certain maybe video maybe you say that Shatawale just beat up his wife and everybody want, wants to go and for all oh, he's a musician for all you know ah, maybe okay. he never did that <laughs> but like us um as i know sometimes their stories may be true actually okay. and of late you hear um some of the stars celebrities they pay people just to come and lie um, on them just so that they can gain popularity like everybody will be talking about them somebody can just pay somebody to come and say he raped happening her. in Ghana exactly or happening in the world oh, just, it's happening in the world just like, because you want to be popular you want yeah. to create bad stories about you exactly just oh, wow. so that everybody will be talking about you okay. like if you see that you have not trended for some time is what is trending <laughs> exactly yeah, what is trending. Yeah, it's it's trending. Uh, it's the, the bloggers and uh, we, we need to know that they have the blogger and they have the influencers. Okay. The bloggers are more in article, they are doing research, so sharing uh, everything they know. But in the in the uh, own uh, personal duties. But we have the influencers that uh, have uh, a big like, uh, the, the most followers, and then they can impact the people who are follow them uh, due to the the environment uh, in the world that they are using. So if you have uh, the makeup influencers like uh, Nikki Tutorial or James Charles, there are people that are sharing uh, new tips in makeup and uh, the other Mac can do a partnership with them. But those, we coming back to the negative aspect, you will see that those influencers are doing this for money. And so, uh, most of the time we don't trust them. And uh, the, the, the problem is that people are really, really uh, visual yeah. on the social media. They are really visual. We don't know what is really good, what is really bad. Is this true? Is this really true? You will see the guy is posting a beautiful picture in a beautiful uh, environment, but you will see him, he's just like, oh and my that God, is what is that? That's a problem for our <laughs> young ladies out there. Social media on Facebook, he puts a, a mansion and he's in front of the mansion taking a picture. He put it there. He said, I'm in Washington, D.C. Oh, wow, <laughs> this is a negative. Hey, you are falling for that. You are falling for that. This is beautiful. <laughs> this yeah, is beautiful. You are falling for that. So, social media, I think, is very deceitful. Yeah, sometimes. And also, since social media is a platform where anybody can get to post whatever the person likes, I can just stand up and post any video on YouTube, like, provided maybe it's acceptable to the terms of YouTube. And then um, this, the youth of today, they are going on social media and then they are getting to watch a whole lot of things that are not right. Getting to watch about maybe publicity on alcohol, these pornographics, and then um, certain pictures they are not meant to watch. So I think some of the disadvantages of social media is also what goes in there and how like everything comes up um, about in, in, in that place. And then people are getting to watch these things, including the youth of nowadays who they are the future leaders of tomorrow. You know? And people influence people, so we yeah. are depend of those social media. Yeah. Today we can do nothing without posting. We can do nothing without taking our phone. <laughs> and this, this is uh, really, really not good for our physical 
and psychological uh, matter. This is um, something very really negative, even for our pocket too. Because we, in <laughs> the social media, we are buying many things. We are uh, doing compulsive uh, buyers. Mm -hmm. we, we become un unaware for everything. So this is really, really right. And to add up to what she said about the monetary aspect, you see somebody has not even eaten the whole day, but the person has bought enough data on his or her phone. Yes. Meanwhile, the person has not eaten. The person is hungry, but the phone is satisfied already. And because of that, the, the money, any money that we get, we tend to lose it. Then we are checking to buy credit, checking to buy data, just to see what is happening, just to see. So it has also become um, an aspect on our fi finances, a we negative aspect. We are posting more money in the social media than ourselves. Exactly. And I think people are getting too addicted to this social media. Students waste most of their time on social media. I don't know. They have better sites that they can visit for their studies. But there are some young guys who are always glued to their phones, watching pornographic and other things that are prohibited, things that they must not watch. And this has posed a lot of what? Problem to society. People learn a lot of characters from people that they watch on social media. And I think this is causing a great problem. If I am giving the power today, I think there must be some regulations as to who assesses what site on social media. It will media. be difficult. It will be really difficult. We just do it, uh, say it now. We have uh, more than 3 billion people on social media today. How can you move this? You can't. You can't. We need uh, every people, every person himself, him to control his madness for the social media. Now, now, what are some of the remedies? Because we have enumerated a lot of disadvantages or problems that this social media poses. Yeah. What are some of the solutions that we can get for this Okay, problem? before I talk about some of the solutions, like as you're saying, if there's a way to like um, detect who uh, goes where or who assesses which site, sometimes when you're going on YouTube, maybe where you are going, they can bring you something like um, you are getting to an adult site. If you are below 18, click here. And if, even if I'm below 18, who knows I'm clicking knows there. Are, yeah. So yeah. I think that some of the remedies is maybe the parents they should be able to educate their children. You shouldn't hide certain things from them. Some parents, when they are even watching movie with their with their children and then it gets to a scene where maybe people are kissing or about to have sex, then they'll just off the um, television or they'll just sat there and tell really their children. Is it really I think thing? you should maybe explain to the child that, as you can see, this is not children who are doing this on the television. It's adult. And you have not reached that stage where you should do this. You have to wait. And then... You explain to the child like that. But if you suck the child, the child will be wondering, why did my dad suck me? The next moment, the child will be asking her friend, who may be a bad friend. And the person might maybe influence your child badly. So I think it starts from the home. Okay. The, the parents should be able to, like, teach their children what goes in and out of social media. They should tell them, don't visit this side, visit this side. And I think if the child is also a good child, the child will definitely listen to the parents. Okay. I agree, and it's really important what she's saying. We, we need to know that the technology is going up and it will be going up again. Yeah. And the education, the way we are giving our education must change. And we need to, to teach to our children now how to manage their social media time. This is the first thing. And after, how to use it properly. We need to, to teach our children and us too that when we are going to the social media is to look for this, this, this. Uh, due to your plan of uh, the life or due to what you are looking to be. Because social media, they are algorithms. And the algorithm will show you what is interests you. You will see that when you, you just meet the person today, to, uh, at the night, Facebook is going to ask you to be friends with this person. This is the algorithm. So we need to teach to our children and we need to know ourselves how the algorithm is going on and to manage it. And we need to go to limit our time in yes, social media. It's very, very important. But because if we don't do that, we will procrastinate all the time. Mm -hmm. We don't we will not be productive. Uh, in the real life. Yeah. We'll be all the time on media and when we are uh, growing up after we are saying, oh my God, I need to do this, I need to do that, we're wasting time. So it's really important to know how to limit the time we are passing in social media. Uh, but if it's your job to be in social media, if you are a blogger, you can go on. <laughs> oh, lovely viewers. I hope you are enjoying the show. We have looked at some of the advantages and disadvantages and don't forget your social media account can also be hacked
those are some of the disadvantages people hack your account I don't know they, 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 a whole lot of things happen on social media they hack the account they use your picture and they create any story about you and people are dying out of that their integrity is on the line the people create stories out of nothing they just put your picture over there once they have access to your picture they put it they over there put a story on right. it and before you can come out and redeem your image it is too late so i think these are some of the things that we have to take a critical look at right. and then see how we regulate yeah. it must children be allowed to access these social media platforms child no no Why? i i think is uh, it's really, really important, as we say in them, to, to take care of the education of our child. Mm -hmm. And it's really important that we have the negative aspects of the social media unfortunately with the cyber community, with the cyber harassment. And it's, you need to take care of, today we are, we are uh, fighting for the, the the figure of our child on yes. social media, yes. we are fighting for that. And you will uh, something uh, crazy in social media when you post nudes, you will see that Facebook we saw will say that no, it's not good. Yeah. But when you put the picture of your child, your newborn, they will say oh it's okay. But uh, we have children that are abused today. Yeah. We need to protect our child. Children, okay. So it's very really important. All right. Okay, well, I think that I, I agree a set, a way with her and then a certain way I disagree. I don't think children should like be uh, like prohibited from using um, the social media. I think they should be allowed, but they should be monitored. Maybe you can tell your child that, if have you been, been given a homework, do you need to do a research? Come, let's do it together. Then you explain to your child that when I'm not around, don't pick your phone, don't go to the internet. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, yeah, exactly. Like, okay. It depends on how you treat your child and mm -hmm. how you are with your child. Are you friendly with your child? Are you his friend? Or are you his um, authoritative? Are you um, this kind of a dictative and authoritative parent? That's when you're, you are not around. When you tell your child, don't touch it. Maybe he has not even, he doesn't even have the mind to touch it. But when you say don't touch it, that's when he's going to touch it. Children are like that. So I think that they should be monitored. You should assess them on using it. Some children, when they go out and their friends say, let's go, the child can say that my mom said when she's not around, I shouldn't go for, I shouldn't go to um, the internet, I shouldn't go on social media. Some children are like that. So I think they should be allowed, but for research purposes, and also they should be monitored and assisted. <laughs> on another score, Island people get their future husbands and wives on social media. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> and would you, would, you, would you marry someone that you meet on social media? No. <laughs> <What's that laughs> <one? laughs> no. Huh? No. We, we can meet in social media, mm -hmm. maybe, but we need to know ourselves in real life, of course. Ah, so you wouldn't I, marry I can't, someone that you no, meet on social I media? No, I can't. Oh, <laughs> why? 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 Like, nobody knows when or where he is going to meet the partner for life. If you guys meet on social media, maybe you find that you are in the same vicinity, you are in the same res res residence. You can maybe fix a meeting, you can meet, and then you see that you are even more like together in the real world than on the internet. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's advisable for someone to just jump in the hands of someone you just met on social media. Then the day that you organize a meeting, then <laughs> certain things are happening. I think you need to remember. What are the last words for our shares viewers? They would want to catch the games that whatever you have for them. Okay, starting from the top, I think that you should get to know some of these origins and the how um, social media is. Um, going on and on and then also you should get to know the disadvantages and advantages of social media because everything that has an advantage has a disadvantage. So you should set your own self to know that are you falling so deep into the disadvantageous side of social media or you are putting yourself in the advantageous side of social media and also last the remedies I think to the parent if like you have a child you don't have, have to like hide certain things from your child educate them let them know certain things before they go outside so that nobody can use another way to deceive them or something thank you very much I, I think it's really important for everybody to know how to use their social media and uh, don't be only on social media you need to link outside the online too and you need to live your life even don't post it on social media although if it's your job 
don't go in, but if not, I think no. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. My viewers out there, I think we have all learned something about what social media is, its importance, and we have been told that the social media can be used to do a lot of things. You can use it to learn, you can use it to connect to people that you don't know. So don't always go for the negative aspects of social media. I want to remind you that this show is repeated every Saturday at 8.15 a.m. in the morning and 4.15 p.m. in the afternoon and also as usual on Thursdays 8.15 a.m. and 4.15 p.m. I wish we could continue with this discussion but time wouldn't allow us so catch you next week stay safe don't do anything back because we are because you are catch you same time next week bye bye